So as Gerard telling me how the way he now burnt off the jacket off the girl and now the whole house is on fire. I say, where is she? He like, the lady from downstairs, the fire started and it was going towards downstairs. And so as he was leaving out and uh, his his girl was calling 911 on him, he says as he was leaving out, the lady downstairs was like, hey, uh, is it a fire upstairs? Because it's coming down to my house and my baby there. Now, he said that she had a newborn baby. So I was like, bro, and what did you do? He said, I told, I told her, hey, you know, the owner is upstairs. I'm like, Gerard, that is not smart. But he was just like so out of it. So he hawking up blood. You know what I'm saying? He's he's spitting out blood. I'm like, you okay? He's like, oh my God. He like, I'm sick. He like, all I smell is smoke, bro. I'm like, bro, you gonna have to go to the hospital. He like, no, I ain't going to the hospital. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. So he went out and he just camped out, you know what I'm saying, in the back. So as time progressed, I'm like, look, she ain't even called the police on, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, she ain't even called the police. He like, look, what time you getting off? Now, I got off like between 12 or 1, but I was like, all right, let's get off, uh, you know, and let's go get a drink so he can unwind. So as we getting ready and I'm getting ready to set the deposits together, TG and Maria comes back there and they like, hey, the, poli the police looking for you. I say, looking for who? Now, here's the deal. I did not tell Maria anything that happened. She just now came on the ship. I ain't tell her nothing about, but protocol is, if anybody asks for anyone else's schedule or anything, you should not, you don't supposed to give it out. They got to ask for the manager. But see, Maria, by she thinking that the police, she probably would give up some information. So they come back, they're like, yeah, the police look, looking, for, looking for you. They want to talk to you. I said, talk to who? And so she said, talk to you. They asked for the manager. I'm like, oh my God. So Gerard, like, oh my God. He like, did y'all say, did, did y'all say I'm here? So they like, no. So Maria like, what happened? I'm like, all right, Gerard, look what you want to do. He like, I'm going to go out the back doorway. I'm like, well, look on the camera first because, you know, police be smart. They'll be parked out in the front and then they'll have another squad car, have another squad car, you know what I'm saying, in the alleyways. So he like, all right, I'm like, look, just meet me at the train station. Just meet me at the train station straight up. He like, all right, I'm like, don't get on the train. Just wait for me. He like, I got you. We do our secret handshake. He look at the camera. As he looking at the camera, I already walk out. So as soon as I walk out, I can see the officer. Like, I see the officer standing up just, you know what I'm saying, just looking at me. So I come, I'm like, hey, I'm like, uh, what's going on? He like, do you have a person by the name of Gerard that works for you? I'm like, uh, well, I, I fired him. Now, mind you, I've been firing him on and off. So he really wasn't technically on the schedule because he kept messing up my schedule. So I will call him and say, hey, come come in today or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So he like, well, uh, do you get any information or uh, where you think he could be at? I said, I'm sorry. No, I say normally when we, uh, you know, depart from the employee, we don't we don't give out none of that information to anybody or keep up with that information. I said, but I can give you my district manager number. So he said, yeah, I'll take the district manager number. He like, uh, if, if he come by, he like, tell him to stop at the police station. He got a warrant out for his arrest. I said, okay, I got you. So he gave me his card. I get him my district manager number. Now, here's the deal. I hit my district manager up and was like, look, the police going to call your phone. I'm like, but I fired Gerard. Now, she, see, she don't know, but I told her straight up I fired him. So that's all I need to tell her. I needed to go into more detail or nothing. So, boom, TG like, what you going to do? I'm like, nothing. I'm like, I got to go to the train station. Now, mind you, Gerard ain't got no phone, remember? He, he lost his phone sleeping on the bus and stuff like that. So he lost his phone in the middle of the mist. So boom, I hurry up. I run to the train station. He right there on the platform waiting on me. I'm like, bro, he like, what they say? What they say? I'm like, you got a warrant out for your arrest. He like, what? He like, she really put a warrant out on me, bro? After everything I did for her? After everything I did for her, bro? Took care of her kid, that ain't my kids now. He snap it. He snap it right. So now we see some more police because that's what they do on the platform. They make sure everything's safe on the platform. So he see the police come and we see a, the train coming, but it's to the opposite side, not the train that we need. So he's like, man, come to police. He just paranoid, period. So we hop on the other train. Boom. So I'm like, man, what's your plan? What you going to do? He like, I ain't got nowhere to stay. I'm like, man. Now he been doing me dirty, right? So I'm like, man, I'm like... What about your sister? He like, man, she stayed three hours away. 
I'm like, man, he like, and I'm going to definitely need to work for you. I promise you, I'll be on time. This, he giving me the scoop. Had a way he going to just be, be a friend to me now. So I was like, all right, I'm like, you got your job back. You know, I got you on flood you out. He like, I at least need 40. He like, man, I messed up, bro. I say, wait. So now they was renting through Pangea. So I was like, bro, is your name on the lease? Because, you know, Pangea don't play that. You damage their property, you going to get in trouble. So he like, yeah. He like, because she couldn't get the crib. Her credit was messed up. So his name is first on the lease. You feel me? His name is first. You know what I'm saying? Her name is second. He the one. If something happened, it's, it's his fault. So I say, what you going to do? He like, I'm going to hit up Pangea tomorrow and uh, tell him that I ain't been staying there. I said, okay. So I wanted to see how they go. Now, mind you, I don't know how to weigh the damage look at the crib. I, I don't know. But Gerard wants to stop by. So I said, no, don't stop by today. He like, I know she probably at her mama house. He like, because, bro, I'm talking about the whole crib. He like, when I left and looked, he like, the fire was coming straight to the door. I'm like, that bad? Now, these are apartment buildings. So that means if one get caught on fire, it's going to be several get caught on fire. So he's like, man, he like... I messed up. He like, I, I, I let my temper get get the best of me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you did. I'm like, you should have just walked away. He like, but I ain't finna get played, man. She playing me in my face. So, boom, we end up getting off the train and getting on the opposite side, right? Now we're going back. Now, on this side, when we're going back towards that way, it's a little hood. So, people coming through, you know, loose squares. They coming through, you know what I'm saying, trying to gamble with the cars. They coming through, Zaza. So, he had a, a couple of funds on him. So he asked the dude, like, yo, he like, how much for your bags, right? So the dude gave him the price, so he put the he put his hand out. So Gerard looking at me, and I'm looking at Gerard. So Gerard like, let me get that one. So he's like, all right, $15. He like, $15. He like, let me see him. So Gerard grabbed the bag out of the dude's hand. So the dude paying attention, but then he get another sale, like, hey, you got something? Let me get something from him. So he turned around, opened up his bag. So Gerard tried to cuff one and give it back. But even though dude grabbed a whole handful of different bags, he still knew how many he had. So he said, hey, man, this one missing. He said, you trying to buy that one? So Gerard said, I ain't take one. So he like, man, I know how many bags I had. So he like, I know I ain't tweaking. This dude unzipped his book bag on the train and got to counting. He got to counting his bags because he said he know how many he left out with. So Gerard like, look, this is my stop. He like, man, well, this is going to be our stop. So I'm like, oh, my God. Now, I, I, I look, I ain't, got to, I ain't on that type of time. You know what I'm saying? Because he on a straight bad streak right now. And so he's like, he's like, look, he like, well, we're going to get off at this stop too. So Gerard like, look, I'll buy one from you. He like, you already got one. He like, I need $15. So Gerard was like, no, nah, I don't got it. He like, you must have dropped it on the train. He like, I ain't got it. So the dude ended up being cool with it. Gerard ended up buying an extra bag from him. But dude was still skeptical. But dude gave Gerard like the most skippiest bag. But Gerard ain't trip. We walked off. So Gerard like, man, look. He like, I don't know where I'm going to sleep at. But he like, if push come to shove, I'm going to sleep on the train. I'm like, man, you ain't got to sleep at, on the train. I'm like... You can spend a night at my crib. Now, mind you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to be as generous as possible. I'm like, you can stay at my crib. When I tell you he had my crib humming, the smell in there was so ferocious. I was like, you ain't taking baths or showers daily. So, I, he like, man, I want to hit the showers. When I tell you, he his skin complexion after he came out that shower looked totally different. And that, that made me realize, like, man, you just getting up and go. You ain't even fully taking care of yourself. So, boom, the next day come. He like, man, he like, you should get off early and we should pop up at, you know what I'm saying, at the crib. I said, nah, I said, you know what? I'm going to be late opening the store, right? Because it was time for me to go to work. I, I was opening, but I had another opener to be opening. So, I was going to come right back. I said, let's just, let's just go to the, he like, but she might be there. I'm like... This early, I'm like, you said the house is burnt up. She might be with her mama. He like, yeah, she there. He like, I just did back out. He like, come on. We get to this dude crib, bro. Smoky, burnt up. He trying to grab a few clothes. The living room, Joe, just everything was on. It was bogus. And I was like, yo, ain't no coming back from that, right? The door was half cracked. It didn't even shut. So he like, dang, man. He was like. I was going off to Amsterdam too, but he was like, she blew me. I wasn't going. 
boom, he comes to work with me. It's a successful, it's a successful day. So <laughs> we get, I get ready to do the next deposit. So I get ready to go. The store phone ring, I pick up. Now that's protocol. We got to pick up. So I'm like Dunkin' Donuts. I'm like Dunkin' Donuts on Sheffield. So it was his baby mama. She like, is Gerard around you? Cause I know he around you cause y'all best friends. I'm like, nah, he not here. I'm like, just call his phone. She like, he don't got no phone. But when you talk to him, let him know that Pangea put a warrant out on his arrest because of what he did to their property. And they want to see him for him to come to the office. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I got you. I'll, I'll tell him, right? Boom. I hang, boom, I hang up the phone. Now, I let him know we end up enjoying that day. So he thinking that he going to spend the night again. Now, here's the deal. Look, I like my loans. You're not going to keep spending the night. All right, you got to figure you out some because you did me wrong as a friend. We, we just now getting on a good path. I don't want the police to come in and raid my crib. So he was like, all right. He like, man, if you want me to, he like, I can open for you. I'm like, yeah, for sure. I'm like, but you got to be on time. He like, I got you. Now, he didn't know that Maria was open. I never told Maria, like, don't worry. You know what I'm saying? Gerard going to open. So it was still just in case that he don't come. Man, I get a... <laughs> I get a call from a real, but I missed it, right? So I get a picture. And she like, look at this. She had walked us out the store. Gerard was sleeping by the safe. 